Hello everyone, my name is Alex and in today's world we have your super secret swapping spy wall. You can use this to hide your very valuable items from those bad people out there. So without any further ado, let's get on to the tutorial. So the first thing that you want to do is place a dropper, then a hopper facing into that dropper, then place a comparator taking a signal from the hopper, then place a block in the face of that comparator, remove that block, and then create a three blocks redstone lines. Now, from above that redstone line, we need a 5 block tall observer tower all facing downwards. Then we need to place 2 blocks or center line observer facing to the 1st, 3rd, and 5th observer of the first observer tower. Then, just do that same thing 2 more times. Then, place a 3 block row of regular piston. Copy that 2 more times for a total of 9 regular pistons. Then place 9 of your preferred storage block on the top of those pistons. Using the same pattern, you can use chest, dropper, dispenser, type of furnaces in this section. Now we'll be creating the group of sticky pistons that will make this system flash with the wall. The first thing that you want to do is place a temporary block, place a sticky piston facing in this direction, then repeat the same 3x3 pattern we just did. Then place your wall blocks at the base of each sticky piston. Now we're gonna create the same observer pattern up here. So first place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 temporary blocks. Then place upward facing observers and just repeat the same pattern we did at the bottom part. Also place the two blocks or center line observer facing to the first, third, and fifth observer of the observer tower. Then place regular piston facing downward at each end of those observers. Here we're gonna create the same circuit we did at the bottom part. So place a block here, then a three block with in line at the base of each observer, then place a block here, then a comparator, then a dropper facing upward with a hopper on the top of it. So we need all of these sticky systems to extend forward. So to do that we need to place some blocks here, some blocks here. Then another block, a top club, and another top club right here. Then put redstone dust on top of all those blocks that we just placed. Now we need the circuitry to make sure that this middle section will extend and retract at proper time. So, we need the redstone torch that is connected to that redstone line. And then place some more blocks. Then some redstone dash here. Here and here. Then some repeater that is set to 2 tick. Then a 1 tick repeater and a 4 tick one. Now we need the main switch system. So we'll need to place a temporary block here. A downward facing sticky piston, then a server facing onto that sticky piston, then a dropper, and a hopper facing onto that dropper, and of course, a comparator to take a signal from that hopper. Then we'll be placing a block at the top of that sticky piston, a block at each side, then place your wall block here, place your lever. Then a redstone dust and a redstone torch with a sticky piston at the top of that torch. Then place some slime block with a redstone block at the end of that slime block, which should be touching the dropper up top. Then we'll be also placing some slime blocks at the bottom with also a redstone block at the end of that slime block 
but now make sure that there is a one black gap between the dropper and the redstone dock. And that's all the circuitry for this build. But now all of those dropper will not actually function without an item inside of them. At this dropper you can place either a stackable one or a non-stackable one. But at the top part you can place any stackable item so just place a non-stackable item. That also goes for the bottom dropper. But I don't think you can call this a secret spiral if all your storage is just showing, right? So we need to decorate. So your wall will gonna go here. And then place your flooring at this level. Then place some more walls. Also at the top part and here just wonderful hey guys i hope you find this build useful for your base i hope you enjoy and see you on to the next one goodbye